Greetings, everyone, and welcome to another episode of Unboxed. It has been a little while. We've been hitting some issues, but today we have a very special little treat for you. Uh, we are not doing indie box or one of those subscription type things. Instead, as you can figure by the title, we're doing a collector's edition of a very popular game. Or at least I think it's popular. Is it good? I don't know. I just got the game today, so it's probably good because everyone loves this company. Let me introduce you to... Uncharted 4, A Thief's End. Yeah, I got that right. A Thief's End. So we got our hands on the uh, collector's edition. I don't know if there's like a super fancy version of a collector's edition, because these days games come with like a million different types of collectors. But this one is the one I pre-ordered a while ago and totally forgot I did until I came home and had this waiting for me. Lovely. So, uh, we're going to unbox this. Uh, it kind of already tells us what's in it, but in case for those who don't know, I think you'll just learn through this way. So, let's see what our first item is. Alright, I don't know if you're supposed to take it out this way, but we might as well. Fart box. It's a box within a box. Money well spent. Like an idiot that I am, it says open here, and I decide to open on this side instead. I'm so smart, aren't I? Okay, so you open here, and there's a reason why. The first thing that comes out, a little book of uh, Nate, all uh, bloody in the face, pointing his gun at you, and kind of looking like he doesn't want to deal with this shit anymore. Uh, yeah, so as you can read by the title here, it's The Art of Uncharted, so... Yeah, it's got pretty little pictures of uh, Nate and Sam. I don't know who they are. I know Nate, but I don't know Sam. Uh, the Explorer. Just a whole bunch of characters in the game, I guess. I don't know. Gotta play the game to figure it out. Next up, we have a steel case of the game. Now, I don't know if many people... I don't know why. I kind of got a uh, Walking Dead vibe from this. Comic-wise. Mostly just because of the characters. There's no... Undead people on here, but I don't know. I got that vibe, and I've never seen that show, so I could be talking out my bum. But yeah, no, I don't know if it's a common issue with people, but I personally am like so so about these tin boxes. They're pretty cool, but when I put them up in my like shelves and stuff, they kind of blend in there and they just don't really fit. I don't know. Maybe it's an aesthetic thing, but whatever. It's a nice little tin box. It's got a comic book style on it, and it's got a pretty sad looking dead dude back here. Isn't that cute? Hmm. Is there anything in here? Yes! There's stuff in here! Stickers! Well worth the money. Uh, you got DLC, uh, multiplayer pack. Pretty much, you get things that I will probably never see because I don't play multiplayer gun games. <laughs> Maybe I'll give it to Jared. You get the game too. I figure that's the whole point behind this. Next up, you get, uh, Styrofoam. Money well spent. But no, seriously. You get this really fancy looking, uh, scale thing. I don't remember the name for it. I'll just call it a scale toy figurine thingamabob. Anything else in here while I, before? No, just more. <laughs> Styrofoam goodness. Oh. I'm going to be playing with this all day. Money well spent. Mm. Mm. Sorry, Edder, Jay. Didn't mean to do that to you. Yeah. So let's take a moment and look at this figurine. I've got collector edition stuff before, and usually they're like these little uh, scaled, whatever way you call them, the one-eighth type stuff. This one, I believe, is supposed to be uh, 12 inches. And uh, let's see the details on this. Looking pretty good. It's uh, uh, kind of a beating down old Drake and he looks all tired and just concerned. He kind of looks like that guy from The Last of Us, but we've always been making that comparison since the Last of Us game came out. It's very nice. It's definitely the largest uh, uh, collector scale that I got. I don't remember how much I spent on the collector's edition, so I don't know if it was well worth the money or not. I'm not really stingy when it comes to that collector thing, but uh, I want to make a comparison. Uh, Pause out for a second. Uh, Editor Jake, can you uh, bring me something here for a second? So I ordered uh, Uncharted 3, the collector's edition, and it came with this figurine. 
And looking at it now, you can kind of see that Drake is in a very similar position. They're kind of both leaning. They got one arm kind of sticking more in the back and more in front. Obviously, he's got a different upper body position here. But very similar. I'm glad Naughty Dog is sticking to a formula that's safe for them. And that's the Uncharted 4 Collector Edition. You get the game in a nice little tin thing. You get the art of Uncharted, which is probably just like a bridge version of like a real art book you could order online for like 30 to 50 bucks or something. You get a little uh, DLC multiplayer skin pack, which again, I'm not going to use it, but maybe one of the other bros on the channel will use it. You get useless stickers, which I guess... Stickers! I don't like to stick stickers on things. But I suppose the real moneymaker here is this 12-inch statue of Drake himself looking all dirty and doesn't want to be here anymore. I feel you, bro. I feel you. This has been Matt bringing you Unboxed Uncharted 4 Collector's Edition. If you're lucky enough to get your hands on one of these, then good for you. If you haven't, well, I'm sure you can find some place to get one. I don't know if these are super rare or not, but... There you go. That's a collector's edition of Uncharted 4. Until next time, to be continued, my friends.